Hi, this is Anthony from Maestro Music Centers in East Meadow, Long Island. And um, Christmas time is coming, and so I thought I would not necessarily do a dedicated uh, Christmas um, video for you, but I would actually talk a little bit about um, synthesizer voices. And today I'm on the brand new Lowry Inspire. I love this model, it's fabulous. Not huge, but lots of stuff inside of it, really. A, uh, much more than we had before on our Sterling model, which was only a few years back, so in a much smaller cabinet. Um, on the Roland models, these uh, sounds are generally accessed through the others buttons, and you'll have like a pad or a lead sound. That's usually what they call them. Um, on the Lowry, these sounds, if you're going through the list of sounds, are listed under generally X for extra. And uh, though you will find on both models, underneath, let's say, the string section uh, or underneath the brass section, synthesizer voices within them. One of the greatest features of a Lowry on these newer ones is that they have an option called Quick Picks and My Picks. So instead of thinking of, oh, I'm in the orchestral section or I'm on the solo section, you actually just think of the sound first, and then you determine where do you want it to go on the instrument. So when I go to my quick picks, this particular model, I have three screen, screens um, of quick picks. And in the quick picks, there's only one list right in front of me that says synthesizer. Right now, the instrument is set up to be a Lowry organ sound. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn off the tabs. I touch the word synthesizer on my screen. So imagine that the screen has replaced the buttons. Okay, so the screen m changes to replace buttons. And then I just take that sound and I touch where on the instrument I want it to go. Do I want it in the pedal? Do I want it on the bottom keyboard? Do I want it to operate as an upper keyboard tab? Do I want to stick it in an orchestral? So I'm going to actually put it into my orchestral section. So I touch sound one and there's the sound. Extra solo saw. So let's turn it on. Okay. Now, the Mannheim Steamroller is a group that took all Christmas music and used all the synthesizer voices to really modernize and change the nature of the sound. Now, if that's not the sound that I want, okay, well now, it's on my screen. I can scroll and go through the list of sounds. So I've got quite a number of them, actually. And I'm going to go to the very beginning. And the very first sound I have is called Atmosphere. It sounds like this. It has almost a bell-like quality to it make a great, um, I can't think what the word is I'm trying to think, like a solo sound, a sound, you know, a, a melody sound. It's soft, it's pretty, okay? Brass one. It has a little bit of a wah-wah effect. Brass two. More of a muted with a wah-wah effect. Choir. Choir sound, but you know, it's not a traditional choir. It is sort of a manipulated choir. This I love this sound. Choir Etopia. It sweeps. It sort of fades away at the end. It's still there, but the sound is sort of changing. Great. It's very good to mix with other choir voices. Soft mallet. great solo type sound. New Age. Also really pretty. Right? Soft Rain. Now this one's, I don't know if you'll hear it uh, on the video, but I'm going to touch the keyboard, I'm going to hold the notes down, and you're going to hear like literally rain, stuff falling. So there's an initial sound, and then a cascading, almost sounds like little wood blocks in the distance in the black. You know. Soft sign. So that would make a great accompaniment, left hand sound. 
so that I would play a melody sound with that. Let's get a different sound here for a second. Let's just make that a uh, vibraphone. Okay. Okay. nice, we call these pad sounds. They kind of spread out. I don't know how else to describe them. Sweep, another really great left hand sound. It's on a phaser, so it's, it's almost spinning. So these would be on Roland instruments, these sounds were called pad, but there's a lot of them, there's a whole section of pad, this is very good for left hand work, or to layer, you can layer, like that could be beautiful with a piano sound, layer together, why not? Soft warm. Oh, it's so 1980s, I really love it. And again, this goes back to what I've been saying, is that, you know, we don't really, I don't really consider any of these things that we play on uh, organs. You know, I mean, yeah, they look like it because they have two keyboards and pedal boards, but they're really not anymore. You know, the, the, in the back of my store, I sell church organs. That's an organ to me. These are just arrangers. You know, they, they are synthesizers. They, they're much more akin to keyboards, which in reality, the keyboard world was made out of from the organ world. So the technology has been around. Um, we just see it in a different way today, you know. Uh, Yamaha makes this Tyros keyboard, you know, Roland has their Phantom keyboard. There's all these other options of things you can have this stuff inside of. So, um, you know, you have to think differently. You could still play it as an organ. If you love organ, it's still in here, but that's not all it is. You know, I, I gotta be honest, I, I, I'm an organ player, I, I'm an organist. I don't really use the organ sound that much. I actually play the instrument more like an orchestral. I can, I'll, I'll pick cellos and vibes and, and this kind of stuff. And as the instruments have been progressing, I'm excited because I'm playing music I used to not play because we have more and more sounds we can use and more and more rhythm styles that are sort of pushing us now into the 1980s as far as music and 70s and so stuff that I grew up hearing, I can now play, all right? Um, so soft warm, great. I use this, this is actually on most Lowry instruments, even some of the smaller Easy series, and it's a great left hand sound. Even on our Easy 2, there's the soft warm sound you can put down there. Soft solo analog. Almost like spooky, right? Solo bass, this is a great uh, melody sound. There's a number two also. It's a little more mellow. It almost sounds like a trumpet. Solo calliope. It's like a chip, an air, right? Solo charang. It's like a guitarish. I think of like Jimi Hendrix, you know, playing America the Beautiful, kind of that type of electric guitar type sound. But it's made with a synthesizer. Chip. The chip is the ch sound that a pipe makes on a pipe organ. I'm trying to wonder why this is called chiff. I guess because it has an initial attack that fades away. So if I play it, you know, staccato, if I play it legato, I get that initial, uh, they call it chiff, but you know. Fifths. This is going to play more than one note. Playing fifth, depending on what I'm touching. Solo loud. That'd be a really good, you know, melody sound. Pulse. Saw. This is based on the sawtooth wave. It's almost stringy. Saw double, two sine waves, one over the other. Sine, 
based on the sine wave. So we've got two different sound wave types. Kind of mellow. I used to have a Wurlitzer in the 1970s. Had a little miniaturized keyboard on top. They called it the Orbit Synthesizer. And it had all these sine waves that you could uh, use to make sound. Square. Square sawtooth sound. All of these things were used in the 1970s to make all the sounds on organs. This was the analog technology. It was based on the waveform shape. Sawtooth, square, sine wave, square two. Bill Curry, who is the crazy man that makes these incredible rhythm styles on Lowry's instruments, really is a genius and a good friend of mine. And Bill loves this stuff. You know, when he plays, he always uses it. He, died, he did crazy one year. Patsy Cline, it was all synthesized. It was awesome. It was beautifully done, you know? Solo voice. <laughs> Two. I have a Yamaha digital piano. It has these wire sounds, so it's one of the main things it does. Synth bowed. It's very soft. I would use that as a chord, as a left hand sound. Bright. left-hand sound, but if I play it, see, melody style, you don't get all that. So sometimes you got to play around with them and see what works. Halo. Meow. One and two. Polly. Sci-fi. Okay? So there's a nice range of stuff. So if I wanted to go and pick a few of them, you know, I could save them in a preset and use them and determine like, you know, what would work best for the piece that I'm using and how would I want to use it. Like maybe I want to use this extra soft new way, just the sound. Now I'm going to go back to my quick picks. I'm going to also select um, a bell and I'm going to place the bell into the other orchestral section. I'm going to change the bell to crystal bells. So now I have, and I can, there's my synthesizer. There's my bell. Okay? Then in the left hand, I've got strings, but let's go back to that quick pick again. I'm going to touch the same synthesizer voice. That was the solo saw. I'm going to pick one of these, um, Soft sweeps. Okay? I'm going to raise the volume of my left hand.
nice, right? So do not discount all the synthesizer voices you have. They can layer beautifully with other sounds, and they may actually spice up some of your Christmas songs. If you've been playing them the same way for a long time, you know, give it a shot. Try something new, all right? Have a great week. Thanks. Bye.